Now, what to do if your Facebook and Instagram ads are just not spending the full daily budget, meaning you set a campaign on, let's say, $500 or ad set on $50, but it's really only spending a small fraction or maybe not spending any money at all. And in this video, I'll show you step by step how to investigate what's the root cause and how to fix the problem so your audiences will spend the full budget. So first, just a real quick high overview. What are we talking about, right? So when you're in your ad account and you have your campaigns and inside of your campaigns, you have your ad sets. And now let's just say you have a daily budget here of 240, but the amount spent ends up not being 240, but is significantly lower or is uh, pretty much zero. Then we know something is not right and we need to take Actually, so the very first thing to check for is to make sure your ad account is not banned and you don't have an issue with your payment method, right? Or pass due payment on your credit card. The first hint for that is if you have other audiences that are spending money, right? So if you, for the same time frame, see that there's other audiences or campaigns that have some amount spent, you know you're uh, fine, right? The ad account is in good standing. You'll also get a red warning message here at the top where you will get a notification if a payment failed or your ad account is restricted for any reason. One more thing to check for is when you go on the ads level so you click on the ad set name and you check on all of your ads to make sure that the delivery uh, status uh, is not disabled or something like that right when you click on edit you'll also see right here at the top right hand side a warning message if something is wrong with the ad that can also obviously affect ad set level spending so if all of your ads are disabled or blocked for whatever reason then your ad sets won't deliver as well so that's a real quick health check once you've done that and you know you're good we can move on to the next step Next, we want to ensure that the ad set level targeting uh, is not causing the issue. Why the ad set level? Because that's really where we set the targeting restrictions and that's typically associated with, with delivery issue. So the very first thing we want to check for is the target audience size. I'll show you how to check for that. You head on over back into the ad set, you hover over it, click on edit. And then at the right hand side, you will see here, show estimate audience size. When you click on that, you can see the actual audience size, right? And so you can see this is a, obviously a massive, massive audience. Sometimes when folks have very narrow lookalike audiences or interest targeting, they might find that this audience number ends up being very narrow and small. What's too narrow? I would say that anything below 200,000 is playing with fire. And so that could then cause basically delivery issues. That happens a lot when you set up very narrow interest and you, you layer them, right? So in that case, you can consider not layering them and basically just have one set of interests. And then you create another ad set targeting the other set of interests to just broaden that audience size. So everything above 200K should be fine. Also, when you target a custom audience, a retargeting audience of your website visitors, let's say, and on that pixel, you have less than a thousand visitors that this could also uh, be causing that issue. And so then just wait until you have gathered more website visitor data on your pixel, and then you can relaunch the audience and then should deliver. Next, make sure that you have active ads inside the ad set. We already touched on that, right? So when you click on the ad set, just make sure that there are ads in there, that they're all enabled. So you can see this blue icon right here. Uh, uh, and that under the delivery column, you don't have any issue where the ad was disabled. If you don't have the delivery column, head on over right here, click customize columns, and then choose uh, select it. And then on the right hand side, it'll show up and you can drag it into place and you can click on save and uh, you'll have that uh, column uh, ready for your review. Last but not least, make sure you don't have any low manual bidding on the audience. So when you go into the ad set level, you click on edit, you scroll down, you'll have here cost per result and it says none, right? So in this case, I am on what's called automatic bidding. So Facebook's algorithm will automatically figure out what bidding to, to use to enter the auction. But right now it basically says that Facebook will figure out what's the right bidding. And then it's very hard to basically bid too low. And so as a result, you don't get any, any reach because you're never winning an auction, right? If you have a value here and it's a very low value, then that could be causing the issue. If let's say, uh, you know, right, right now, I'm basically saying, look, I'm willing to spend $5 to get a purchase that might be too low if I'm selling $20,000, $5,000 products, right? So um, it always has to be in relation. So my recommendation would be in the beginning to just get rid of it, to not use it um, and see if that fixes the issue. Now, if you've gone through all those steps and there's still no spending or you uh, ensure that it's not really applicable to you, then we have to, you know, get out the heavy measures. And so we'll try things to force spending on the campaign and on the ad set. 
In a first step, what I like to do is I just like to duplicate the campaign or the ad set. I have the uh, budget set to 240 right here on the ad set level. I can just duplicate the ad set, just re-entering the marketplace for whatever reason gets the spend going. But, but uh, that would be my first step, just duplicate the ad set. And if you're on this active status for, let's say, more than half a day and there's still no spending or very little spending after a day or two, then we got to move on to the next step, which is high manual bidding. I would bid very aggressively. I get sometimes attacked for this because it's not a really logical thing to do, right? So uh, if I'm selling, let's say, a $500 product, my target cost per purchase is $250. I would bid $1,500, for example. So three times your AOV, two times your AOV, something very aggressive because I want to re-enter the auction. I want to have very high bid. I'm going to outbid competitors. I will get more delivery and more spend. If I'm telling Facebook I'm willing to spend $1,500 to get a purchase, wouldn't it be crazy expensive? I only want to spend 250. That's true. And it won't really translate into a 1,500 cost per purchase. And we're just using this as an initial kick in the butt to get some spend going. And then you can take it out of the ad set once it starts delivering, but not performing. So this is another trick that I use to really get full spend. And if even this doesn't help and you spend another day and there's just no spending on that audience, then you have to bring out the absolutely heaviest gun, right? Which is raising the daily budget and if possible, enable accelerated spending. Now, at the time of taping this and in the ad account that I'm inside of right now, it's not available that option, but check for yourself if it's available on your side, right? So when you head into the ad set in question, you'll find at the top section under conversion, you scroll down, there's going to be this show more settings. And then you have delivery type. And if you can set this, you can go to accelerated spending. And so then it will basically be yet another kick in the butt to really accelerate spending and get this going. You can pair it with an increase in daily spend or you first set up accelerated spending and then increase the daily spend. So in that case, you have a large enough audience, healthy ad account standing, high budget, high manual bidding and accelerated spending. But make sure that you monitor every hour to ensure that, you know, you're not um, you're not burning through capital too fast. Um, that's that. And obviously, at some point, if you have other audiences that are delivering and performing well, you could obviously also just throw in the towel at some point and say, look, I'll rely on the other ones. You can also just when you are a customer, if you're watching this video and you're a customer of Adamigo AI or a user, then obviously you can just ask the agent to run an audit on that asset and figure out why it's not delivering. And then at the end, it'll recommend to you things that it wants to do to fix that delivery, right? So it can go ahead and then change the bidding, change the budget and everything. You just talk to the agent. It's almost like a media buyer or an agency, and it will figure out what needs to be done and do it for you. I hope this video was helpful and I'll see you in the next one.